So a lot of you have seen the video for We'll Get By, um, the autism song, and we are so thankful at the response that we've gotten with almost 300,000 or more views on that video. And then you've seen the explanation video of, of how I wrote the song and why I wrote it. But now there's kind of questions that have been drawn as to the choice of words that I used. One of them being the word prison, uh, autism being like a prison. The word prison was a metaphor. I grew up kind of struggling with my weight all my life. And uh, I felt like I was in a, in a prison that I couldn't get out of. I, I didn't know how I was going to achieve uh, losing weight and that type of thing because I really struggle with that even now. Uh, I still struggle with it. It's it's a battle every day that I have to fight to not you know overeat or go crazy at the buffet or or just eat the wrong or make better choices when I'm when I'm eating. So, in a prison in a physical sense, um, someone is there and they can't get out. And that was kind of where the whole metaphor of that you know came from. When someone has autism, they can't break free from it. It's not something that goes away. But it is something that can change and get better over time, but it may not ever, you know, more than likely will not ever go away. Um, so that's where the, the term prison came from. So in, in essence, you know, anything you have, whether it's your struggle with weight, your struggle with an addiction, uh, a job that you're at that you can, just can't seem to get out of, or, or a, a relationship, um, all different things and almost anything can become you know using that metaphor prison so I didn't use that word to offend anyone I simply used it to express the extreme measures uh, that autism can you know bring to a family or a one-person situation the other topic that's been kind of touchy in the song was the fact that I basically talk about God healing uh, this kid or this kid wanting to be healed or, or even this mother praying for this child. Well, there again, the family that I wrote it for did pray and does pray for her children uh, to not struggle with this. The prayer or the healing is not so much that this person will not have autism anymore, but that they will be able to uh, adapt to a new way. Like there are, there are some that are nonverbal and then uh, after years of work and hard work really, uh, they, they can wind up speaking and that's the progression that I'm talking about. That is a type of healing. That is not uh, not having autism. That is, you know, progressing into a, a better state of it so that you can, uh, you know, cope through life and not be nonverbal all of your life. I don't know about you, but if my own child had a headache, uh, I would pray for his headache to go away. I would pray for my child to find the right job when, when they're looking for a job. I would pray for my child not to be bullied in school. I would pray for my child to excel in, in their schoolwork and, and their career choices and their relationship choices. I would pray for my child no matter what and believing that they can be the, the perfect uh, human that, that God created them initially to be. So I'm not anything but a songwriter and a singer. And I have a heart for others. I've written songs about homeless people. I've written songs about battered women. I've written songs about runaway children. Uh, I've written songs for all kinds of people. I've been hired to write songs for, uh, recently, actually. A friend of mine's father died, and she asked me to write a song about her father. And she gave me all the information that I needed. And so I wrote the song about her dad. I'd never met her dad and then he died two weeks later. Um, but this helped the family heal. This song is not gonna become a hit song. It's not gonna become something that's on the radio. It just happened that I wrote an autism song for an autism family and had the same situation. It was just for them and it helped them. But then we realized that it could help thousands upon thousands. And I appreciate all of those that it does help and I, I do have a heart for helping others. I don't have a, I didn't do this with a malicious heart and there's been a lot of ill words said because of some of the words I chose for this song. Um, again, I ask if the song is not for you, it's okay. But I do appreciate you letting me let this song do for others uh, to promote healing and stability and love in, in, in a family situation that is dealing with autism and I appreciate that. It's my desire that, that the songs that I write um, will touch someone's life. There are a lot of um, 
subject matters out there. And, and uh, you know, I may, if I'm inspired, write stuff about uh, different subjects that I'm hoping will help others uh, for years to come.